Hi everybody, welcome back. You're with Mikashi. We're playing Democracy 3. We are Germany. Um, I actually chose the Conservative Party and then proceeded to not do anything Conservative. Um, so that's cool. Ultimately though, they are Socialists and they don't respond to my name. It is just um, a load of bollocks. So, we've got serious crime issues at the moment. Um, quite interested in bringing in the death penalty for everything. Just literally, where are you? Death penalty, there it is. 50 points it costs. I'd quite like to enact it and just make it any crime, we die. Death penalty is the ultimate punishment for serious crimes. Opponents are concerned by the possibility of killing the wrong person and suggest that only a barbaric state has the death penalty. Supporters point out that it absolutely guarantees no reoffending <laughs> and acts as a deterrent to serious crime. <laughs> That's a fair comment. But we could also sanction torture. There's a lot we can do. Um, put a racial profiling. <sighs> Cheap and effective. Ooh. Now that one. This. Ooh. Gambling is quite popular. To some, gambling is a sin which leads to poverty and disaster, but others believe that some social gambling is harmless fun which can also be taxed nicely by the government as an additional form of revenue. It also encourages tourism and creates jobs. Hmm. So many choices. Added religion to oaths given in political, military, religious oath. So if I enacted that and national service, everyone would be indoctrinated. But anyway, we need to uh, earn more tax. Mansion tax is appealing. Punitive wealth tax, if only it was more. Cannabis tax. That's pretty good. Because then when they all fuck off, it would also boost farming. Yeah, we'll do that. So that's going to negatively affect our GDP. No, nope, fuck them. We're taking it. We're taking it all. What are our points like? 24. We'll take this one. Do we want the Freedom of Information Act? Do you know what? I'm going to let that ride for now. Well, we're trying to get rid of two out of three. I know this doesn't look like we're getting rid of it at the moment, but don't look at the short term. It's not about the short term. And that, well, mm. For strategic reasons, some governments are happy to pay subsidies to farmers to ensure the security of a nation's food supply. This goes against free, free market economics and can also be very expensive, but it does safeguard jobs and votes in agricultural communities. Okay, so we're now going to Im 
imposed a huge tax. I wish it was that one, but it can't be that one. Oh, I want to do that. So we'll get 24 on the next spin. We need 43. So 43 minus 24 is 19. 19 plus 24 is 43. Yeah, yeah. 39, yeah, 43, so I need to spend down to 19. I need to spend 24 points. This is moving up to max. That's good. Intelligence services going up to max. We've got a huge deficit. But that's okay. We're just showing the true cost of... Motorist. Are they on this list? They're not, are they? Yeah, they are. They're there. About 47%. Membership's dropping off. How's that champ problem going, guys? Oh, yeah, we're getting rid of that. Oh, okay. Twenty-one, low strength beer only. Yeah, we'll do that. Fuck them all. Changed it now, haven't we? That's right. That's right. Oh god. Okay. Um. Um. How much? Thirteen. That would leave us with 16, which wouldn't be enough to put the fuck. Should we just do it? Mm, no, we can't. We can give them. We can give them food stamps, childcare provision. parents like thirty four point five not really the vote I'm going for is it so they really hate the crime issues What sort of state is our environment in? Is that in... Welfare? No. Oh, they're liking us one. That's good. Uh, where is the environment? Environment? Where are you? Further than everywhere. <sighs> so quality going down. Don't go down. Biometric checks. Jesus, no. Uh, no, thank you. Where's the environment? What the fuck? So wages are driving down. Okay. And immigration is increasing. Oh, I didn't realise. Homelessness. Global economy is tanked and our fucking GDP's followed it. Where 
Where's the income graph? What the fuck? There we go. Oh, we briefly, we're doing well. No, okay, I'm gonna, so I need to spend down to, I need to spend 24, I need 19, I need 10 to spend. So let's enact one more tax. Tax for 10. Junk food tax, plastic bag tax. No, let's give him something cushy. Actually, for 10. Give him something cushy for 10, then fuck him for the rest. Food stamps, four, five, six. Ooh. Mmm. A cycling campaign, fuel efficiency standards, and a telecommute. Yeah, we're going to do them three, yeah? That's ten. Just to nineteen. So what we're going to do, free transport initiatives. So we're going to do a cycling campaign. At maximum. We're going to do... Check what one. to click on this one, excuse me. Cycling campaign and then telecommute, yeah, telecommuting campaign. Maximum. And we're going to do fuel efficiency standards. High. Excellent. Click. Don't die. Yes! Okay. Positive discrimination. There are calls for a law to expressly set quotas for the employment of it. No. The bollocks. Okay, we're doing it. No! No! Need 20! Doesn't make sense. I lost one. Barstards. Barstards. Do I just waste a click? No waste a click. The truly made this country a green and purple land, free from the horrors of pollution, waste, and damage to the climate. We and the climate, thank you. Oh, right. As a result, there is a danger to the Minister wanting to spend more time with her family in the near future. Ministerial resignations hurt the popularity, you fucking bastards. Nice. Fucking Nobel Prize. Okay, so. We're at a slight surplus. We're going to get rid of this debt. Ready? Where are you? Yeah, we'll go for 103, 33%. Hit it! But we'll give him a day off and all, do you know what I mean? You don't want to be a cunt, do you? No one wants to be a cunt. There you go. Let's hit it. Boom! Jesus, crime was at red.
Okay. What's the vote like? 43%. We took a dive because of that huge tax hit. So socialists we're most interested in. So the flat is huge on their concerns. Not as much as poverty though, so we need to eradicate poverty. How are we going to do that? Well, firstly, we're going to go over here. We're going to click right here. We're going to have some of that. We're also going to go back over here. Click here. We're going to hit it all the way. right you guys could do two two and a four two oh, trade council it's always been a hassle to find trustworthy trading partners in foreign countries with the establishment of the trade council this will become easier now as potential trade partners are listed here and make offers themselves this will increase international trade and boost the economy Establishment of a national business council gives a strong voice to business interests and, to en and ensures that the needs of business, both big and small, are taken into account. The council serves as a way to promote capitalism and enterprise. Fuck off. Worries and problems of the poor and underrepresented. Ooh! Yeah, I'm up for that. No more cars, please. And what we're going to do is we're going to pop over to her. Okay, that's a shame. Maybe we're not. We'll enact one more thing then. Law and order. A witness protection program? Absolutely. Okay. Angry citizens are protesting against a project to build power lines through their villages. These power lines are necessary to further increase use of renewable energy sources. Not building them would be an economic setback, but if you ignore the citizens, this will make them even angrier and supportive of their cause. Nobody wants power lines next to their houses, but they have to be built somewhere. And until recently, these people have been demanding more clean energy. The power lines will be built. Stop construction. There are alternative ways to explore, like underground power lines. And there are claims that the health of those living near power lines may be in danger. I think underground is the way to go. So I'm going to take this hit. I think, mm. Yeah, I'm going to take the hit. I want the people to be happy. GDP's grown. <laughs> okay, so it's currently paying off our debt pretty rapidly. That's good. Um, I'm getting a lot more people in work. What's our vote at the moment? 60. There we go. And then once we get rid of this alcohol problem... Okay, so... How are... I don't like that actually. I'd like to kill it. Lowers health. Don't fully understand why, but anyway. Uh, 
Um, hmm. So the crime is coming down. Um, it had a little steep bump there. That was with the whole internet crime coming about. Street gangs kicked it off. But we're, um, we're upgrading shit. We're tackling it. We're tackling it head on, Captain. Hopefully our increased expenditure into the intelligence services will prove adequate. And I think it's that time where we're coming up for halfway through, so we're going to reshuffle our cabinet now as well. So we need a foreign policy. That will end this episode as well once we've got these guys. I think a liberal environmentalist negotiating for us. Sounds good to me. Welfare. Look at the numbers first. She could be good. In fact, she is good. Not for a welfare state. Economy. Tax this guy. Public services. Yeah. Law and order. A religious capitalist, not really my favourite. Even though most of my friends fall into that category. Uh, Yeah, that's good. And transport. Okay, transport's just a little douche. What little douche? This little douche? Conservative trade unionist? Yeah. So we're now getting 30 bucks a hit. Currently got 12, so I think we'll just take a second press. Okay. So you suck. Even though that's awesome. Street gangs are gone. 63% vote. Poverty's down. How are we going to resolve unemployment? We need more jobs. Spend more money on state expenditures. Um, where's school? This one? Maximum? Let's go. There is a shortage of homes in our country and the government is under pressure to relax planning laws and allow previously restricted green belt land to be built on. House prices are rising far faster than earnings due mainly to the shortage of supply. In the long term the only solution is to build more housing. It's no good providing housing where there are no jobs and if that means building on a small portion of green belt land then that's the price you have to pay. Keep planning restrictions. There is always pressure to build new homes on green field sites because housing companies find it cheaper and easier to build on them. There are plenty of urban sites that should be reused before we resort to carving up the countryside. A sudden expansion into the green belt would have a dreadful impact on the rural communities. Yeah, we're very, we've got 20% farmers, man. We're looking good. We're looking really good. That's nearly gone. It's good. So yeah, all these are ramping up. surplus but we should already have rid of our bastards. Yes! Yes! 74% of the vote. Just got to watch out for the Battenberg group. <laughs> Obviously a comical play on the infamous Bilderberg group. Jesus Christ, everyone's selling their houses. <laughs> Do 
GDP is going through the roof. Should we hit that as well? Yep. We're going fully socialist. We're going all the way. All the way down. And is there any other socialist nonsense we can enact? Small business grants. Consumer rights, that's quite a biggie. Yeah, we'll do that. Cooling off periods. No, automated refund sounds good. So yeah, we'll leave it for a bit. What? Surplus? It's gone up. Oh, that's probably because alcohol abuse has gone. Yes. Excellent. Surely we can't get killed. Like, this is paradise. Fuck you. Eighty percent of the vote. Global economy just tanked. <sighs> We've just dropped back. Oh no. Okay, well let's just have a quick look on this. So, motorists have dropped down to 38%. Socialists have grown to 89%. State employees are up to 50 And they love us. This complacency is an issue that I'm not too chuffed about. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. Um, the middle income just aren't feeling us at all. What can I do? Middle income is so hard. You can focus on the poor nice and easy. Capitalists just hate us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Went all the way down. Okay, yeah, I'm going to end this episode here. Cheers for joining me.